Hey guys, I'm Vaughn Lee, head striking coach and MMA coach here at Phuket Top Team in Thailand. Today I'm going to show you some shadow boxing techniques that I like to use. Um, I've been developing over the years, for many years, since I was 13, uh, and just evolving as I, as I went on. So, I hope you like it. These rounds are five minutes long with one minute active rest in between. This round I'm just getting loose, getting warm, engaging my core muscles, getting my breath into a rhythm. Getting a sweat on, making sure I'm nice and loose, light on my feet, just throwing out some nice light punches. My active rest will depend on what I'm doing in the next round. So if I'm going to punch a lot, I want to do a lot of press-ups to fatigue my arms. In this round, I begin to use my imagination to visualize my opponent in front of me. This is about being creative with your imagination. The more details you can create in your mind, the more fun you will have with this. If I'm doing footwork in the next round, I'm going to wear my legs out by doing lunges. I want you to stand up Round three. In this round, I'm focusing on my rhythm, my footwork, my self-expression, like my attitude, like cockiness, confidence, playfulness, and my freedom of movement. Like a dance, I want a free flow to the rhythm of whatever song is playing or to the song in my head. This is a great way to work your balance and coordination. Technique of In this round I'm being very methodical, very technical. I'm doing just basics but with high volume. I'm switching stances from orthodox to southpaw, back and forth. A lot less movement in my on guard position. A mirror is also a great tool to use to help you to watch yourself and correct your own technique. If I'm free flowing, I want to engage my core, so I do sit-ups. Round five. In this round, I'm pretty much putting everything together. Breathing, visualizing, rhythm, footwork, free flow, and technique. Shadow boxing can be done in many ways. You can shadow box while you're running, 
or in your living room, you can just put markers down or anything down to move around. You can also shadow box by tying your hand wraps at head level and using them for head movement. Many different ways you can shadow box. These rounds are five minutes long with one minute active rest in between. Well, I hope you liked the video. Stay hydrated. There's a thing with with shadow boxing. Like some people think that shadow boxing should just be a, a loosening up thing. They just do it loose and they let their their shoulders go loose and they try to work on their snap and they try to move around. But then there's some people that think you should treat it almost as if it's a fight, like as if you're simulating a fight. Like visualization, they think might be as important as anything else. It's important to be in shape. It's important to be strong. It's important to have experience. It's important to have really good technique. But it's also important to visualize. It's frustrating. Come on, Sean. You're not no champ. Look at you. You're losing. You lost three rounds already. Come on, man. I hit you four times. It's worse, man.